Okay, so this is a Dell Optiplex 755 tower. It's a Core 2 Duo 2.53, and I've put 8 gigs of RAM in it. I'm going to set this up as a uh, just a home server. Uh, it'll just run Windows 7. I'm going to have mirrored 2 terabyte drives in it, and nothing fancy, but um, I got the PC for free, so we'll just load it like that. And just picked up these Toshiba drives, they were on sale. Tons of packaging, packaged really well. So, I haven't actually. The only Toshiba drives I've ever had are in a laptop, so let's see how well they are, how good they are. Let's see if I can get the tripod up without it won't fall over. Well, it looks good as long as y'all don't fall over. So, of course, Dells, they have these little drive caddies. The drives just snap in. Plug everything up. I've got two good long Dell SATA cables with the 90s. All right, drives are in. Um, all we're gonna do now, we'll set up the RAID, and I'll load Windows 7 64-bit on it. So we'll pick up there. Alright, so let's go ahead and power it on. One thing I like about these Optiplexes is they're pretty quiet. So we'll start pressing F2. Entering setup. Okay, so here we are. So you can see processor info 2.53. We got 8 gigs of uh, 800 megahertz DDR2. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to go to drives. And we've got SATA 0 is on. SATA 1 is on, one, 0 and 1 are the uh, two hard drives, SATA 2 is on, SATA 2 is the CD drive, and SATA 3 is off. We don't have anything on there. Okay, so we've got RAID on. AHCI is good. Um, so what this does... We're actually going to turn it to RAID ON. So what it does, if they're signed drives, which means if they're 
paired that it's uh, it will uh, turn on raid but we want the force raid on all right so we've got raid on Turn on smart monitoring. Let's just see what else is in here. Okay, I think we're in good shape. Green neck is on, audio is on, USB controller is on. Okay, so we're going to escape, exit, save, and exit. Okay, so we'll do control I. Okay, so now we're in the RAID configuration menu. So we're going to go ahead and set up the RAID. And I'm going to set up a RAID 1. So we're going to create a RAID volume, and we'll just call, nah, that's fine, and we want mirror, we're going to do the full capacity, create volume. These are new drives, so yes, we're okay with that. All right, so we got our two mirrored drives. And we exit. Okay, so we are finished loading, and now we are in the setup. English, 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 US. And install now. I accept the agreement. Next. We do a custom install. Here's our two terabyte drive, shown as one drive because it's mirrored. So we'll just select it. Next. I'm just going to let Windows partition it out so that it's one large volume for OS, and I'll put data also on that same volume. One partition. and we'll pick back up when it finishes loading okay so we're pretty much through the setup type a name and server
we'll just use our we'll use recommended settings. I am central time. And it's actually nine fifteen. Let's see if it's missing any drivers. Yep, yeah, we'll have to um, plug the network up, see if it can pull the updates. camera while I'm trying to get the network cable moved over and plugged in. to blank out the password coming up. All right, so that last screen just showed the password, and then I hit finish. I'm not going to put the password on the screen. But we're also going to set up a um, just a standard share on here, just a shared folder. So here's the specs on here, 8 gig. 64 bit. It's a Core 2 Duo E7200, 2.53 gigahertz. Windows 7 Ultimate, Service Pack 1, Dell OEM license on it. Okay, so we're going to go to C drive, it's probably downloading Windows updates, it's doing something, it's running slow. Let's see if Windows will find drivers, I may have to go to Dell's site and download them.
foot is making this thing crawl. Gigabit connection. Nothing doing there. We do have some CPU usage going on. Nothing across the network. Hmm. All right, so we'll do a new folder here. I'm just going to call this data. It's just on C drive. And I'll right click, share with specific people, and I've got myself in there. I could add other users through the control panel. So I could just go to user accounts, and I could just manage another one and create a new user. See, then I could uh, create a new account. I could add how many other people I wanted to. If I remember right, I think Windows 7 will allow you 20 connections. So up to 20 people could connect to this share. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's 20. Um, and there, there won't be that many connecting to this thing. Probably just me. So I can share. Done. And the other thing I do want to do is go into back into control panel. Go into the power options. Okay. Put the computer to sleep. Never. This is going to be a file server. So we don't want it going to sleep. All right. So I've got me a folder and I can start loading my data on there. And I've got one point seven nine terabyte free. So plenty of free space. And it looks like I will need to go to Dell's site to download. I always like their work site better. And I'll just put my service tag number in here and download the drivers. So anyway, thanks for watching. And that creaking noise is my bed. I'm laying on the bed doing this. I know, it sounds funny. Thanks for watching.